coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10's Aaron Peters. Good evening. I hope you were able to get outside sometime this weekend and enjoy this wonderful weather we had. And just take a look at what I'm tracking for. Those clear conditions we saw throughout our weekend will continue into tonight. I think the main thing you're going to notice, though, once we get into our work week, is we are going to see cooler temperatures. So over our weekend, we saw temperatures in the low to mid 80s. But as we start to get into our Monday and for the rest of our work week, we're going to see temperatures get back into the low 70s and potentially back into the mid 70s. For the most part, though, if you're someone who's enjoying the sunny weather, you're going to love this week because we're just going to see that copy paste weather continue. So we're going to see that sunny, dry weather. So if you have anything you want to do outside, this week will be a great time to do so. Take a look at this Storm Team 10 future cast. This is midnight tonight. As I mentioned, it's going to be a mostly clear night tonight. And we're going to put the future cast in motion. This is 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Still seeing those clear skies. So if you're going to want to do anything outside, as I mentioned, perfect week to do so. It will be a little bit cooler, especially by the time we get to those early morning and late nights because those overnight lows will be dropping potentially into the 40s by the time we get into our work week. Then by the time we get into Tuesday, that's at 5 p.m., you're going to still see those similar conditions as we talked about. So look at your three-day forecast, start off your work week. As I talked about, our temperatures over the weekends have been in the 80s, saw eight, a high around 83 degrees today. We're going to see cooler air start moving in tonight. That's going to lead your high to only be around 70 degrees tomorrow, but it's going to be staying sunny for these next three days. But after tomorrow, you're going to see temperatures start to rebound a little bit and work themselves back into the mid-70s. 73 on Tuesday, then 75 once we get to Wednesday. So look at the temperature trend over these next five days. This Weather we saw in the 80s won't be lasting now. By the time we get to the next weekend, we might see temperatures get close back into the 80s. But for these next few days, they will be staying in the low to mid 70s. And that's about where we should be for this time of year because average high is around 74 degrees, 70 tomorrow as we talked about. But you're going to see just a steady warming trend by the time we get to the end of our work week into our weekend. Some more good news. I mentioned it's going to be staying sunny with that copy-paste weather. Currently, precipitation chance is staying at zero for these next five days. But of course, if anything does change, Storm Team 10 will be here to keep track of this for you. Take a look at your forecast for a night. 45 degrees, a mostly clear night tonight with a north breeze from 5 to 10 miles per hour. As we get into tomorrow, it's going to be another sunny and beautiful day, but the high is going to be around 70 degrees, not as warm as it was today. And we're going to have a subtle breeze once again from the north from around 3 to 7 miles per hour. As, by the time we get into tomorrow night, it's going to be a cold overnight. It's going to be a clear sky once again. That's going to be why you're going to see your temperatures drop so low. 40 degrees for the overnight low. We could even see temperatures drop into the upper 30s tomorrow night, so be mindful of that. And we're just kind of a subtle north breeze once again with a calm breeze. Take a look at some day forecast. As we talked about, copy paste weather over these next couple days. 70 degrees for the high tomorrow, staying mostly sunny for the next seven days potentially, but you do see temperatures rebound into the mid 70s as you get to the middle part of your work week. But of course, if anything does change, Storm Team 10 will be here. Keep track of it for you.